Hi Star Wars fans, Universal Collector here today with another video. We've got some uh, some loose six inch black series, some of my uh, some from my collection. Yeah, so we've got Baze and we've got Chirrut here standing together. Yeah, great looking uh, the likenesses are brilliant on these. What we'll do is we'll get Chirrut out of the way. Start with Bayes. Bayes is uh, quite well known for not, you can't stand very well. You've got to get a stand for a foot stand for this one. His, uh, his lightness is really cool. His head just really turns. As the body armor stops you from moving the head, getting much position. You can't pose it very well. And it's got the big heavy backpack on it on the back. And the, the, uh, the gun. Gun is just whenever you try to pose it, the uh, it comes out of the hat like that, it comes out, or the uh, actual ammo connector comes out of the gun, so he's not the best for posing. So, you won't get many action poses out of him. Very chunky, so you're just better off just a single standing character or lean it against Chirrut, which is what I do. There's Chirrut. <sighs> Yeah, I love this brilliant character. You've got a cloth, cloth skirt, and you've got a bit of plastic on the back here, so it's a mixture. But if you if you get it posing right, you can get him to stand. So he looks pretty good. He's got a really nice uh, pole. He does come with the uh, other firing weapon. I haven't got him posing. Yeah. Cool figure. Hard to come by now, these two, Chirrut and Bass. We got cool K2SO. Another one hard to pose and stand. So we it back around it. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's terrible. Because he's so uh, long in the limbs. Try to do it. He's sort of, he's sort of a nice matte black colour. He's got hints of gold and silver all over him. Have a look at the face. Just got the eyes painted. See, so, yeah, I'll try to. Try to reposition him again. There we go. It may be stand for a couple of seconds. <laughs> yeah, looms over all the rest of the characters. I got the, another tall character. The Death Trooper. This is a brilliant army builder. Everyone is after this now because he's just appeared at the end of the Mandalorian. So uh, everyone wants it. Cool looking helmet. Comes with two weapons, you've got the blaster and the small hand pistol. Some lovely detail on it, nice and shiny. It's got a hint of green to the uh, eye lenses. There we go, and green on the bottom. No, for a range trooper. Not a large, sort of stubby character. Not the best to get much poses out of. <clears throat> it's got this lovely material effect on it for the fur. Gives it more great, better detail. 
you got these great big boots they do uh, you can try to get some poses out of it nice gold visor with his big uh, jacket on there is a little small uh, backpack there as well right Scarif Trooper, this is the uh, the grunt, sim the simple single tro trooper, not a commander or an event. Like this one, hasn't got too much paint with the blue on it. Pretty standard figure. It's got a bit of nice bit of weathering on him. Comes with this lovely uh, ammo pouch. It's a Dutch ammo pouch. He's in the Second World War. I love that. Yeah, head turns pretty much. It's quite stiff. You can get some nice poses out of him. A couple more. Here we go. The Guavian Death Squad Soldier. This one is one of the Force Awakens one. Wicked. It's a wicked uh, looking figure. I love the, the detail on it, all the ammo, the pipe work, the sort of the crimsony dark red under seat. A couple of cool weapons. This one's sort of one of those ones that sort of not many people bother with, and now it's now people are wanting to collect it now, hunt it down and find it, and it's going for it's going for a bit more than it did when it first came out. Shame they didn't have a bigger role in the actual film, really. But uh, it just, yeah, that could have uh, been pretty cool to carry on through the film. But I uh, think they're brilliant. Let's have a pan in, look at the head. Yeah, right, last but the last one. One of my favourites, one of the best ones I've done. Layer Bez, uh, Layer Bush. Yeah, it comes with a removable helmet. He's got a staff, and of course he's got the uh, thermal detonator, which comes off. So you can just put that back on the belt quite easily. Easy piece to lose, I'm guessing. A backpack that comes off as well. A lot of people complain about this figure that it's uh, it's a wrong size, and if I compare it to say uh, Force Awakens Leia, you look at that. It's quite you can see the difference in height. She's over a centimeter bigger, but. I think she's such a cool character and the face is not bad. It's not bad for her. It's a good likeness for being painted. Cheeks are nice and rosy. A pretty cool detail and uh, you've got the helmet. Great helmet. It slips on pretty easily. I'll put it on now. Here we go. I think she looks pretty cool there, standing there. Well, there we go, there's my uh, small little selection of uh, Loose Black Series figures. Uh, thanks for watching, please leave some comments and uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.